Okay, today we talk about respect. We talk about respect for you and we talk about respect for me. We talk about respect for your condition and we talk about respect for my expertise. The price is the price. It is all very clear. There is no negotiation. Okay, I'll drop the accent now. So, why do I insist on a face-to-face -face consultation? It should be very clear why I insist on a face-to-face -face consultation. I can only do my job safely and effectively if I have you in front of me. Oh, online, Skype, oh, it's a nightmare. Um, I insist on everybody. There is no negotiation. You will come and see me if you want to be under my care and supervision. There is no negotiation. Um, we have emails from guys from London constantly going, oh, it's a long way, it's a long way. We do not negotiate. Um, we have guys from Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Spain, Portugal, Germany, all over Europe. And they all come to see me for their new patient consultation and yearly thereafter. The rest can be done remotely. I don't like it. I'm going to be honest. I don't like it because I really struggle with the computer screen. I'm more of a people person, okay? Um, you can glean so much more information from actually being in somebody's presence um, that you can via a computer screen. Me like real people. I always look somebody in the eye for a very good reason. It shows a matter of respect and you can also glean a lot of information from actually how somebody reacts to your questions, concerns, comments um, that you would not glean from a Skype consultation or video consultation. Um, we run a Facebook group, TRT in the UK, and there are some characters on there. There are some fun characters. There are some funny characters. And there are some guys, actually, actually pretty much everybody has an internet persona. And I meet these guys after however weeks, months they've been on the group. And the picture that I have built up in my mind is always off. Does that mean I'm not very good at reading people? No, it means that Everybody puts on a facade or a persona that actually isn't a true reflection of their true self or nature. Of course, you know, a bunch of strangers um, sharing personal information, you are going to be guarded. When people come and see me for the first time, there's a mixture of emotions, attitudes. Um, there's concern, there's sadness, there's relief. There's, there's all, all sorts of emotions. And by the end of this 90 minute consultation, they're sometimes a little bit shell shocked <laughs> after, after going through everything. Um, but invariably there's a sense of relief now that relief comes from not only having hopefully digested most of that information and all that information is consolidated with further documentation and videos etc but it's funny the um you can you can almost there's a guy today came in pale as anything and he left with a full face full of full of full of blood it was it was actually lovely to to witness actually because he was telling me his story and he told me that he'd not told anybody else this before. Now, would he have told a 
online email video consultation w would he have gone into such personal detail and the answer is obviously no um I'm a, i am a people person so um hopefully you will understand from these interactions with a computer screen um, and the feedback that we get from uh, our patients at the men's health clinic I'm pretty good at um, reading people, finding out what's going on. People do tend to open up to me. I'm quite, I'm quite an open guy. So I, I share information um, that I feel appropriate in order for, to make somebody feel at ease and hopefully open up to me. Because this relationship is not only a doctor-patient relationship, so that does require trust, integrity and respect, and a, a, a degree of giving away some responsibility to a clinician who you don't know. Um, and that takes some guts. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. So I think you have to be personable. I don't think you can do this job effectively and safely um, remotely. Well, I, I know you can't. Um, You've only got to tell from the number of people that have left other services to come to us. Um, it does not matter what you've had done before, what blood tests, how far you are, all this. You still come and see me. And I hope the guys that do come and see me for a long way away understand why I do it. Um, because your care is of the utmost importance to me. And I think you need to understand that and appreciate that. Um, and you can't do that online. You, you, I have to look somebody in the eye, okay, in, or, in order to really convey meaning, trust, all, the, all these things that we've spoken about, because it's a serious condition. You know, some of my guys have been on the brink, okay? You know, there are there's a cohort of people that think this is about lifestyle and, you know, getting buff in the gym, but this isn't, this is really about mental health. Um, it's also about homeostasis and da 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 da, but I'm telling you, it's about mental health, okay? Um, that is the most important component of testosterone replacement therapy. You can optimize levels, you can do all you need to do, but this is all about mental health. So, a face-to-face -face consultation, it's showing due care and attention to the patient. There are lots of other reasons, I mean, you know, ob obvious reasons, but I want to be able to look my guys in the eye and I want, to I want to be able to know whether they're telling me the truth because there's no need to hide. There's no need to put up a facade because between those four walls that you're sat in, there is confidentiality, there is trust, and there is, there's something, there's something that you just cannot, cannot put into words. Um, so I hope you appreciate why I insist on a face-to-face. -face. It's not because I'm a hard ass, it's not because, it's not, actually because of you know the GMC wanting me to it's something it's something that I would I would do irrespective of the GMC and it's something that we've always done from day one you know it's how I want to practice it's how I want to practice medicine because I believe that's the best way I cannot stand these online faceless companies um, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, I think it does a disservice to the patient. And I'm not just talking about testosterone replacement therapy. I'm, I'm actually talking about everything. All of the conditions that are managed online, you know, it, there's something very sacred about the doctor-patient relationship. And when you are dealing with online facilities, providers, clinics, whatever, um, it takes away that human approach. It takes away humanity. Um, and 
filling a questionnaire and that you manipulate to get what you want. So there's a, there's a, there's a lot of cognitive bias involved and you are essentially shopping. Is that really how you want your health to be managed? I think I fancy a bit of that. So I'm going to fill out an online questionnaire uh, that's going to get me what I want. So, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. And I, and I find the whole thing deplorable, if I'm being honest. So, should I say so one more time? I like saying so. I say so so many bloody times. It's ridiculous. So, um, yeah. Face to face. It's the only way. Doesn't matter where you live. Uh, you can live in Timbuktu. Um, you can live in, in downtown London. <laughs> it's two and a half hours, you know. My guys, my, my, my guys come from bloody thousands of miles. Um, <laughs> it, it, there's value. There's value in seeing me face to face um, because I can only do best by you if I have a healthy doctor-patient relationship and that can only be gained through a human interaction. <gasps> this whole world is becoming automated. Scary, scary, scary. Films, science fiction films are becoming reality. I'm predicting Cyberdyne systems very soon. Gonna be the Terminator. I'm gonna blow up all the online companies. Um, no, I'm not joking. I'm joking. Um, just in case. So yeah, there is no negotiation at the men's health clinic. When you join the men's health clinic, you are part of our family. We are a close knit family, and it's built on trust, integrity, and respect. If you don't have enough trust, integrity, integrity and respect for yourself, then you're not going to be part of my family. All right. Tell her, guys.